Hello, 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 friends, and welcome to the stream. My name is Timaz. This is the Construction Zone. How the heck are you doing? <laughs> How are things in your world? Uh, how's your day going? How are you doing? Um, I hope things are going well. I hope you are doing well. Um, it has been a hot minute since we uh, streamed, even. Uh, it's been quite a while. Uh, work has been just absolutely wild uh there's just been a whole world of stuff going on and uh i am not at liberty to talk about any of it but uh there's just been a whole lot of stuff going on and it has been incredibly hectic and so uh hence the name of the stream tonight uh taking things down several notches uh i realized that i really needed to to stream i needed to get back and just have some time where I wasn't dealing with work and I wasn't thinking about work and I was just doing something for the sake of doing it and something fun and pleasurable uh, and so I figured what better way to do it than to kind of get back to square one um, as you can see on uh, the giant bright and shiny uh, screen up here uh, we are going to be playing some House Flipper. Uh, this was the very first game I ever streamed um, a couple years ago now. It's been, I don't know, how many years have I, been, have I been streaming? Two years? At least two years. It feels like longer. I think it's been longer. It may be three years. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. Um, but yeah, I've been streaming for a while. But, uh, but yeah, this is the very first game we played. Um, and so we are going to kind of return to our roots. Um, you may notice uh, there are some uh, small changes that have been made. Um, and I think mostly for the sake of clarification. Um, uh, if you'll notice um, down uh, in the doobly-doo, as they say, um, there are some new um, keywords or uh, what's the... Uh, I don't know what is what's Twitch's official wording form. They call them tags. Um, yeah, so the the tags have changed slightly. Um, we have added um, a couple of tags that I feel uh, I saw several other streamers using them uh, over the past like month or so, and I'm now using them as well because I think they really uh, kind of encapsulate and capture what we do here and who we are here. Um, and those uh, tags are low sensory, uh, they are lurk friendly, and sleep friendly. <laughs> uh, we love our lurkers here, and uh, you know we have absolutely no problem whatever, whatsoever with folks coming in and, and choosing not to chat or not to interact and just having me on in the background while they're working or while they're you know doing some other stuff. Uh, or maybe they're just watching and dozing off, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and so that, you know, that covers the lurk friendly. The sleep friendly is just because, uh, I make it a, a point to not have any, uh, loud, um, you know, kind of jostling or, or like, you know, scaring kind of like loud noises, or, uh, I don't play games that tend to have that kind of stuff going on in them. Um, we don't intentionally don't do any jump scares. We don't have any loud alerts um that are like jolting or, or disconcerting um and that kind of also ties in with the low sensory thing um we want to be a place where people can come in and just relax and literally relax um and i know for some folks that can be really hard especially when it comes to video games because there tends to be a lot of flashing lights and a lot of loud sounds and a lot of a lot of stuff going on um, so I just want folks to know that this is a place where they can come and relax and just hang out and kind of, you know, just take a deep breath and relax, grab some, uh, grab some snacks and a drink and just kick back and, uh, kind of let the stress of the day wash away. So, yeah. So with that being said, um, we are going to go ahead and, uh, swivel the old monitor around here. And we'll uh, we'll jump into the game. All right. Uh, 
let's uh, swap out the audio here. There we go. All right. Um, this is, uh, boy, it's been a long time. <laughs> uh, luckily, somebody has been taking care of the grass for us. <laughs> Uh, this is our house in uh, in the game here. Um, we'll head inside. Uh, let's see if I remember what the controls are. Good grief. Uh, see close. Okay, um, I need to adjust my mouse. I forget when I play this game, I have to slow my mouse down because my mouse is set for really, really quick response. And playing this game, it'll give you nausea because it whips around a little too fast. Okay, that's too slow. Okay, that's... Yeah, that feels better. Okay. So, yeah, so this is the kitchen of uh, our place here. Uh, it's kind of a mix of modern and old school. Uh, I love the exposed brick. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, but, you know, got all the essential stuff we need. Uh, the the family room here is a bit more modern uh, you know got a lot of squared off corners and whatnot uh, there is the uh, European style restroom with the laundry in the bathroom uh, there is the bedroom there's some shelves a, um, uh, a closet a set of uh, they're not built-ins, but a set of closets against the uh, the exposed brick wall. Uh, very bright and sunny. Lots of windows in here. Um, and then eyes to the front, please. And then here we have the office. Uh, hey, Rose, how you doing? It's good to see you. Dimas, I'm just going to sleep. Been to see. Shania Twain and I have to get up in five hours. Look at you flipping houses. <laughs> you you saw Shania Twain. Um, a I wouldn't have expected that, and B I had no idea she was uh, over in uh, your neck of the woods over there. That's pretty darn cool. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm I'm glad you got a chance to see uh, see your concert. Uh, I have heard. I, I don't know this because I haven't seen any of her concerts, but I have heard that her voice sounds just as good as it did uh, when she first came out with all of her big hits and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a friend had a spare ticket, so I went, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, she's great. Oh, uh, awesome. Nice. Um, so, yeah, well, see, now you can uh, get all cozy and comfy and curl up and... Uh, you know, listen to me and it'll put you right to sleep like it always does. <laughs> I tend to have that effect on people. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's uh, get the light on in the fish tank. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and sit down at the computer here. And <laughs> we will... Uh, Oh, it looks like we've got some new mail. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, oh, we'd have to do the, the gardening. There's somebody who wants us to clean up a garden. Ralph uh, uh, from the HGTV DLC. Let's change things up. Johnny from the Demo Luxury DLC. Uh, okay, we skipped over the Christmas one because... You know, it, it, it hasn't been Christmas when we saw that one. Uh, you always do the trick. To <laughs> I sleep. Just wanted to say hello. Well, hi. Uh, I'm glad you had a good time tonight, and I glad, I'm glad you're, uh, you're home safe and sound, and I hope you get some good sleep tonight. And uh, I'm sure I will chat with you again soon, because it, it has been a while since we chatted. We I know we have sent each other uh, random things here and there but uh yeah it's been a while since we talked so uh, 
hopefully we'll get a chance to do that again soon. Um, let's see, uh, Ada Gonzalez, a colorful fiesta. Uh, and then <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge, let's keep the tradition alive. Um, okay, I think we're going to pass on Ebenezer. I think we're going to pass on Mikey. Um, do I have any, do I have an open project going on right now? Hold on, let's look. Uh, map of jobs. Okay, there's a new job over here. Uh, can we zoom? Oh, that's right, we can't zoom out. How do I, there we go. It's like, how do I move the map? I thought I could zoom, I can zoom in. That's as far as I can zoom out. All right, where is the next? Usually the... Yeah, I feel like the zoom is kind of wonky. Oh, is that arrow trying to tell me where the job is? Where did, where did the arrow go? Well, we're as far that way as we can go. Okay, the arrow's pointing. The arrow seems to be pointing towards the boat. I thought we did that one. I don't remember. Um, all right, so let's go back. So I don't think we have any open... Yeah, these are all the ones we we've already done. Those are all all the ones with check marks on them. Yeah. Uh, let's look at our portfolio. Sold houses. Um, th was this the tech one? Was this the last one we did? The alleyway of lights, yeah. Wow, that was a long time ago. Uh, clothes. Are there dates on any of these pictures? That seems like it was ages ago. Um, no, it doesn't have dates on any of the images. Um, Okay, so Alleyway of Lights was the last one we did. Ex-boyfriend stole. Okay, so these are... I think these are all the jobs we've completed. Oh, no. <laughs> the last one I did, <laughs> the last one I did was uh, the two houses, or the two New York apartments uh, that are uh, basically, for all intents and purposes, they are the Friends set. Um, this is uh, Rachel and, um, oh my gosh, what's her name? Uh, on one side, it was Chandler and Joey's apartment. On the other side, it was Rachel and um, Ross's sister. Rachel and... <laughs> Why can't I remember her name? Um, Monica. There we go, Monica. Yeah, it was Monica and, and Rachel's uh, apartment. Um, and so yeah, so that was that was fun. Uh, apparently, I still own those though. I don't. I I didn't sell them. I held on to them. Um. So the houses that are still for purchase, um, and the fixer uppers. I basically had been just going one by one. I don't remember the summer house being there, so that may be a new ad. 
Um, so yeah, let's see. That one's seventy-one grand. We could work on that one. Um, let's take a look at these. I don't know. Let's take a look at these jobs. What the heck? Uh, Lisa, you know what? I'm actually going to turn the music back on because I'm realizing it's awfully quiet. Uh, let's see. There we go. The music will catch up here in a bit. Uh, let's see. Topic. Demo Garden DLC. Cleaning up the garden. Hello. I need help cleaning up the garden. The crew that worked for me previously left a lot of equipment and messed up the terrace. Uh, I hope I can count on you and that you'll make my garden the most beautiful in the neighborhood. Good luck, Lisa. Um, if I remember correctly, I have all the DLCs installed, so I can play any of these. Oh, goodness. Okay. That is really cool music, but we're going to take it down a notch. There we go. That was a bit, that was a bit loud. Um, let's see, so I hope you can, okay, so should we accept this? What the heck? Let's just go ahead and do this, this garden job. Uh, we already did this job. Didn't we? This looks like the big brick house that we gutted and like completely renovated. It cost a fortune to do it, but we got a big kickback on it. We made a lot on it because we put so much into it. Um, is this not that? Oh no, this is a different house. Okay. It sure looked like it from the front. Um, and you know, as always, it is kind of uh, foggy and oddly foggy in patches and um, as always when we come over here and we look around the edge of the fence here uh, yeah right down there on the edge of the street there is the red FBI car <laughs> it is a long-running joke in my uh, in my stream that the red car that is perpetually on every street I work on is an FBI car and they're just following me around. Um, okay, so our job at this house is to remove the trash, to remove the debris piles, to mow the lawn, and to weed the garden. Sounds like a fairly, a fairly slam dunk kind of job. Uh, looks like we can't go into the house, so everything we need to do is outside. So why don't we go ahead, and we will get started on... Let's see, we're going to pull some weeds. Alright. Well, they left scaffolding here? I guess we're getting ourselves a set of scaffolding. Um, I'll clean up. Wow, they really did a number on the job. They did a number on the yard. Uh, the yard is very messed up from, yeah, there's sod pieces laying around and we might be able to fix it and resod that. Um, let's see, I'm going to clean that up. What do we do with all this wood? I guess we just get rid of it. I 
I feel like we could sell it. I wonder, can we sell it? No, it just says remove. I was kind of hoping we could sell it and make some money off of that. This guy's just going to leave. I mean, if this were a real world case scenario, we would, um, I mean, we would literally, you know, take that stuff and reuse it. Strip all the paint and whatnot and dirt off of it and reuse it on projects because wood is not exactly cheap. Quality wood isn't, at least. Uh, pick up shovel. I don't have a... I've got an axe. Oh, okay, like so. All right. to pick up the dumpster, not just suddenly make it vanish. Um, let's power wash that. Alright, that looks much better. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to fix the yard back here. We'll get some sod back here and spread it. Goodness. that got all of it. says we've only removed 63% of the weeds, which is interesting. All right, we're going to use the map and walk around here. What are we missing? Aha. All right. And it looks like this tree... They have it listed in red. Does that tree need to come down? Oh, yeah, cut down the tree. There are three trees that need to be removed. Okay. Something.
us. Oh, uh, what do we do with the scaffolding? For right now, we're going to put it here. Simply to get it off the yard. Um, and let's take down these trees that she doesn't want anymore. I like how the trees in this game just sink into the ground. And they don't damage anything when they fall. They just silently fall into the earth. done so sell object one so it okay we do have to sell the scaffolding there we go and so it says all we have to do is mow the lawn so do Everything is locked. I don't think we can buy, we can't buy um, sod to put down. All we can do is cut it. That's a shame. Out. We'll go around the edges. around the corner. Second. This music is a little more, uh, a little more in the funk category <laughs> than we usually have. Uh, I like it. I just don't think it's really appropriate for lawn cutting. Uh, hold on a second. Where is my usual? What station am I on? And we're looking, and we're 
looking. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it says this is in lo-fi. This is not a lo-fi song. Yeah, that's definitely miscategorized. Darn it. Hold on one second. Snapped out of the screen I was in. There we go. Okay, back to the lawn. All right, we were trimming around the trees. We took care of all those. Trim around that guy. Trim around that guy. Should be able to break up the lawn more. Hold and switch to move objects. that turns it on. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Uh, settings. Uh, controls. Level mowing, level shift. Mow left, mow right. Mow backwards, mow forward. Where is turn on the mower? Increase mowing speed, decrease mowing speed. Start mowing is space. Oh, we turned the lawnmower away from us. There we go. Okay, space isn't working. Space is jump. Uh, something's not right. Hold on. <laughs> we, we're, we are having some control issues here. Uh, settings. Control. Yeah, jump is the space bar. So jump and start mowing can't be the same key. Uh, can I make it this? it a number nothing else seems to have a number okay so that should work all right let's go back uh, go back continue okay one made the lawnmower disappear 
<laughs> so, so that's a no. Two, three, four, five. Oh, because the numbers are the items. Okay, so that is in use. Should have told me that. Why didn't it tell me? Settings, control. Start mowing. Is anything the L key? Um, okay, I'm not seeing anything assigned to the L key. Let's try that. All right. Turn the mower towards us. No. Okay, that worked. Pressing and just holding the button <laughs> seemed to turn it on. Uh, scroll to change speed. Uh, we'll set it at low speed. Cutting the grass. So do I have to hold that? I do. I have to hold. I have to hold the engine on. I guess it's like those lawnmowers where you have to hold the handle down to make it work. Six. All right. 
Let's wander around the yard a little bit and see what we're missing. So right here on the edges. I'm not seeing anything. Appears to be it. Okay. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it won't let us uh, buy anything because I would fix these with. Uh, I would patch that up with some with some sod, but the game's like nope. <laughs> uh, so you've completed seventy two percent of the job. Complete the jobs. Uh, no, I want to cancel. Okay, so if I, okay, I forgot the whole thing of, if you stand on a section, it'll tell you what to do. Uh, buy a stool, a rocking chair, and a cycloman persicum? Uh, okay. Um, so I need... Where's my... Where's my tablet? Uh, tablet is... There we go. Uh, for outdoor furniture? Yeah, let's go with a more traditional style. Two rocking chairs. I think what we're gonna do. So I pick that up. Put it there. Um, two rocking chairs and we'll go here oh it's a flower okay um let's see let's go with red flowers and a white vase Porch is done. Remove trash, clean the dirt, buy an object. The tear, oh, the backyard. Okay, let's go to the backyard.
wooden table with four chairs around it, a Yucca XL, Amy dark colored rocking chair, coffee table. That's a lot to fit on this little this little porch here. Goodness. Um, okay, so I'm gonna say table up close to the kitchen. So table with four chairs. Let's go with the table. Um, again, we're gonna kind of match. We're gonna do the white legs with the black top. I think that should be enough room to fit some chairs behind there, yeah. Large yucca plants. Um, I'm thinking one out here. Rocking chairs, a coffee table, uh, we're going to go black, all right, let's put the chairs and the coffee table over here. Set that one there for right now. And now we can put this one in place. Go small um, white flower pot, and we will set that right there. flower pot 
goodness. We would like you to buy an entire tree, please. Okay, I think that's done. Let's look at our list. Oh, no. We're supposed to buy two of these. Well, we're gonna... Um, I think these will actually need to face in so you can get it away from that door. So, one, two, three... Where'd the flowers go? Where, where, where did my flowers go? They apparently vanished because it says I need to buy them again. Y'all, I don't know where my flowers went. I'm a little upset because poinsettias aren't exactly cheap. That's 90, one, two, three, there we go. Just need the one extra plant that will go right there. I don't know if it's very practical. Getting in and out of here might be a little difficult. Um, but yeah, I think it looks alright. All tasks are complete. Alright, so we'll walk out here. We'll flip around. It says all tasks are completed. You've completed 100% of the job. You will get paid $4,200. Are you sure you want to complete it? Great job. Muds, weed. <laughs> Great job, flipper. Mud, weeds, moles, they don't scare you. Maybe it's time for your career to blossom. Give new tools a try. Plant flower, flower, <laughs> flower, plant flower beds and build rockeries. Style your garden and put it up for a contest. Um, you will find this and much more in the garden DLC. New features are presented in this job and they're available only in the DLC. Uh, speaking of the DLC, uh, we'll say complete. 
doing before and after photos. Yeah, it looks pretty sharp. But um, speaking of the DLC, um, as you can see on the screen down in the bottom right hand corner, the CD Keys logo, and as you saw in the workshop, I have the neon sign of CD Keys uh, in there. Uh, I am an official sponsor of um, with CD Keys, and uh, the reason I became a sponsor is because I am a customer of theirs, and I absolutely love how like how deep their discounts are often on the video games that I was going to buy anyway. Um, and since I was already going to buy them, why not buy them at a discounted rate? Uh, so yeah, CD Keys is a great place to get that. Um, if you go to cdkeys.com, you can look through what they have. Um, if you see a game that I am playing and you're enjoying the game and you thought, hey, you know, it'd be kind of cool to get this for myself. Uh, all you need to do is in t in chat, you would type uh, exclamation mark, get game. And it will bring up a, a link where you can just go straight over there to buy it. Straight over to CD Keys and buy the game that I am currently playing. <laughs> um, not only do they have House Flipper, but they have the DLCs. They have all the bits and bobs that you might want. Uh, as far as playing this game, uh, currently uh, I just checked before before starting stream. I believe House Flipper is currently sixty percent off. Uh, it's under ten dollars, uh, and all of the DLCs and stuff I think are under five. So yeah, you could pick up the entire set, all the different variations of the game, uh, for what you would normally pay like, you know, for, for a regular game on, um, you know, on another site or at a store. So, so definitely give them a check, you know, check them out. Definitely give them a chance. Um, like, you know, like I said, that is the link to, uh, the house Flipper game. It'll take you right to the page where you can get the game. Um, if you just want to check out what they have, you can do exclamation mark CD keys in chat. And there's the link to their homepage where, um, you know, they have the same kind of setup that most, you know, like online stores do. Where you can shop by genre, you can shop by, um, like the machine that you use, whether you use a console or if you use PC or Mac or, um, you know, they have all different kinds of, you know, it's the different systems, games for different systems. They have games for different platforms and whatnot. Uh, most of the stuff that you do on CD keys, you basically go through the process, you buy it, they give you a, an activation code. And all you have to do is go over to Steam, go in there, say enter an activation code. You enter the code, you hit enter, and it says you have purchased this game. And it adds it to your Steam library. Um... Which, of course, you can, you know, download your machine or whatever, but... But, yeah, that is the deal. Um, but, again, I am a partner with uh, CD Keys. And not only am I a part... Or, you know, not only am I... Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to talk too fast. I'm, I'm really kind of tired. <laughs> um, I do apologize for that. But not only am I an official partner uh, with CD Keys... Um, but I am also a customer, um, and I do, I do use them. I do buy things from them. I don't promote things that I wouldn't buy myself or don't already buy myself. So definitely give them a chance. Take a look and see what they've got. Uh, good folks, good products. Yeah. So, all right, with that being said, we are going to come back. We are back in our home office here, and we're going to take a look uh, at the computer. And let's see what the next letter is. Um, okay, the next one is HGTV DLC. Now, it says demo, though, but I, I have the full version. 
I have the full DLC, I believe. Unless this is for like an upcoming DLC or something. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we can definitely uh, we can definitely give it a shot. Let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Topic: Demo HGTV DLC. Let's change things up. Good day. I'm writing to you because I need a house renovation. Our children grew up and they need a new play space. We also want to redo our bedroom. Additionally, I would like you to fix a few minor things around the house. Ooh, that sounds like a really big project. Good grief. All right, we may we may come back to this one. That sounds like a lot. Um, let's see what Johnny says about this uh, demo luxury DLC. Uh, it says, hey, I need to finish off the house I recently bought. You may find the style I want odd for a rock man like me. So to be sure we're all clear, I'll send you some photo references to check out. And of course, you can expect good money for the gig. Peace, Johnny Robinson. Um, okay, so apparently he is you know, a famous musician. And he wants his house to be a place where he can kind of get away from it all. Uh, design usually takes a lot of scope as well. So let's go back. Uh, Ada Gonzalez, Colorful Fiesta. Hola. Uh, our large family will soon arrive at an old familial house to celebrate together. Unfortunately, the place was neglected for a while and isn't in the best shape. Could you help us put it in order again? Uh, oh, and since there's not much time left, could you also help us with decorating? It's a joyous occasion after all. Besos, which I believe means kisses. Beso is kiss, I believe, in Spanish. Uh, Ada Gonzalez. Um, all right, let's go back. What does Ebenezer Scrooge have to say? Hello, friend. <laughs> Every year, my boss would organize a Christmas party for all employees. Uh, now that he's retired, I want to continue the tradition and could use some help preparing. The house? Uh, I bought it cheaply from an old couple that moved closer to their relatives. It only needs a little refreshing. Please move the bathroom downstairs so guests can access it. That's not a little refresh. That is a, that's a big move. Oh, and don't forget to leave space by the piano so we can dance and sing Christmas carols. He wants a bathroom moved to a different floor. That sounds like it's going to take a lot of work. So I think the least out of all of these, um, you know, the smallest of the jobs, is probably going to be this one. I could be completely wrong, but I'm, I'm thinking it will be. Oh, well, this is loading. Uh, I forgot to grab a soda. Um, I was just looking around, I was like, where is my drink? Uh, it's not here because I didn't grab one. Hold on one second.
Sorry about that. I do apologize. Um, that took a little longer than anticipated because when I opened the soda, I got one of those random soda cans where they've overfilled it. And so as soon as I opened it, it just like poured out. <laughs> it, it didn't spray out like it wasn't overpressured, like somebody shook it up or something. It was literally overfilled. <laughs> so it just, it like, it went all over the place. It was a mess. So had to clean that up really quick. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, um, let's go ahead and see, okay, definitely have to cut the yard because it's about knee deep, um, there are weeds that need to be pulled all over. There's no back door. Uh, there's a mess on the inside here. Why can't I? I can't put the pillow up. We're just going to set it there for right now. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of like little nitpicky stuff. We have, like a lot of cleaning on the inside. Um, so, but nothing, I mean, nothing we can't handle. Oof, that is a very colorful wall. Interesting style. Oh, that's not good. Those are hanging off the wall and Okay, yeah, we got some work to do. Let's get to it. Let's close the front door so we don't uh, blow a bunch of grass into the house. says garden so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk the yard really quick and we're gonna pull the weeds because the lawnmower doesn't like going over them uh, in the digital world uh, those are those are separate items you got to pull the weeds you can't cut them with a lawnmower which to be fair is actually a, a good idea because when you cut weeds with a lawnmower all it does is it just scatters the, the seeds of the weed everywhere and then you just you're just ending up multiplying the problem for yourself all right and for this i am actually using the map up there in the corner so that i can see more easily where these items are in the yard because sometimes they get hidden down in the grass and you can't see them. So it's just easier to use the map.
lots of weeds. Alright, I think... I think that covers it. Yeah, I think that covers it. Okay. Let's get the weed whacker out and we'll edge everything. Well, we have left our couple random trees back here. We should be good to go. Like so. That one's already done as well, so... Switch to lawnmower. Okay, it's doing that weird thing again. Turns it. What am I doing wrong again? I really don't. I, I have always had trouble with the lawnmower in this game. Settings, control. Mow forward, backwards, left, and right. Level mowing. Increase mowing speed, decrease, and start mowing. Okay, so increase and decrease. The little icon isn't in the corner down there showing me that I can do that. Was it because I was touching the concrete, maybe? Maybe that's what it was.
Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Did it actually... No, didn't mow a single thing. Thought it was mowing that whole time. Didn't mow anything. It drove over all of it. Didn't mow it. it would let me use the mouse to steer. <laughs> I'm trying to use the keys is a less than optimal solution. Because you can't... Why did it do that? Because you can't match the... Yeah, you can't drive in an exact... It doesn't cut exactly perfectly straight all the time. if the garden's done. Um, I'm going to guess it's done because it's not on the task list anymore. It's weird that it doesn't actually say 
done or completed or I'm just gonna walk around the yard really quick here and look and see if anything's missing. doesn't appear so. So let's go ahead and head inside. Um, is there a... Yeah, there we go. Clean that up. Press to dispose. I'm just getting rid of their papers and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I still don't know where to put this. It won't. It won't come up off the floor. I can sleep in their bed. That's not okay. Uh, shift, rotate. Maybe it's not supposed to go in here. Maybe it's supposed to go somewhere else. So I'm not seeing any more I'm not seeing any more marks on this. Um, supposed to do in here uh, clean the windows modify the walls okay so it's one step at a time here clean the windows how did I used to do this Trying to remember how. Oh, did I do it with a joystick? I did. Yeah, it was significantly easier with the joystick. That's right. Open the windows. Um, how do I get? Is it tablet? Is that key? No. Okay, 
that's that. Wait, uh, cancel? I don't know what that symbol is for the tablet. Oh, it's the back key. Okay. Uh, okay, so modify the walls, lay floor tiles, sell objects. Oh, am I like gutting this room? Hold on. Gray book, classic corner desk, double bed, sconce, rug, book, chandelier, blue book, office chair. So essentially I'm I'm selling everything in here. Selling the light? Sell the sconce. Sell, sell the chandelier. Okay, so yeah, literally. <laughs> I accidentally clicked it says turn light on and I went to click it and the game thought I was trying to sell it and it said we're not playing thief simulator <laughs> that was funny uh, okay so paint with the color light biscuit uh, so paint uh, we will need to buy the paint I feel like all we need is a small can. It's just one room. Uh, let's put it out here.
painted. Let's uh, switch here. And we're going to move this outside. So one wall is going to have the wallpaper on it. Oh, uh, that's a Dia de los Muertos. Uh, Day of the Dead wallpaper. Interesting. Uh, let's see, what wall do we want to do? Do we want it to be a surprise once you get in the room? It's behind the door? Or do we want to do it so people outside can see it? Was it just one wall we had to do? Yeah, modify the walls, remove the trash, clean the windows, modify the walls, lay floor tiles. Oh, interesting. It's tiles of fitted carpet. Okay. So the carpet's done. And now we're going to redecorate the room. All right, let's see. What are we working with here? Uh, we've got, um, looks like a flower, a cat, a chandelier. Let's go ahead and grab that. Um, our base colors were very blue. Hold on, let's stop for a second. Let's put that back away. Okay, we've got like a muted dark blue and we've got the, the color in the hats and the walls and the floor are kind of neutral. So letting this wall kind of be the centerpiece. Um, so yeah, the, the chandelier, black crystal glass, Let's go with just plain black. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so now to square ourselves in the room, we're just gonna walk into a corner. I think that's pretty close. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, let's look at our tablet. Um, bean 
bag. There's a wardrobe, a bunk bed with pattern cushions, a pet bed, a desk. Okay, let's get the big ticket items in here. That bunk bed's gigantic. Um, good grief. Uh, that wallpaper is pretty modern. We've got blue birch. We've got black. Colors do you have? We have a blue. We've got kind of a a splash of yellow in there. No. 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 No patterns. to a choice here. Um, Yeah, none of this really goes with the, because the pattern on the wall is so prominent. I would have gone with, with muted, um, very simple bedding. And all of these have really bold patterns on them. That's the least amount, the one with the lines on it. Does any of these say line? Oh, that does have lines on it. Okay, so that kind of matches. Yeah. It's all the closer we're really going to get. Uh, bed behind the door or bed out here. There's a window on that wall and a window on that wall. Let's scoot over. Oh, let's scoot over on this side of the room. Because the ladder's on this side. 
So that that's the foot of the bed. The foot shouldn't be up against. Usually the head is up against the wall, not the foot. But the ladder's on this side. Um, so that way. Is there a way to, to reverse the bed? <laughs> I, I would have put uh, yeah because I don't want it up against the wall with the wallpaper on it that's the accent wall there shouldn't be much on there this do you like ladder on the other side no it doesn't give you the option all right fine um Yeah, my only option in that case is to put it here. Hats are purple. I thought they were blue. Ah, uh, none of these colors go together. Good grief. Okay, um... Uh, what else do we have? Another big ticket item. Wardrobe. Definitely doesn't go either. Uh, maybe we'll stick to like black and and wood colors. I, I, I actually I think I'm gonna replace the bed. Um, yeah, because I mean it's 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 gaudy. How much of that doesn't go <laughs> with? Um, so let's flip this around so it's facing the right way. And 
we can probably center that between yeah so it's not smashed up against the wall um, we can hide stuff in there if we need to yeah this uh, whoops um, we're gonna we're gonna replace it. Bought the wrong one. So we're gonna do that. So that's those. And yeah, like that, that'll work. Okay, so now that that doesn't clash with the wall anymore, uh, now we can. Put this wherever we want to. right now we're just going to stick it in the middle of the room so we can pick that up and move that over there so we can move out of the way pick that up and rotate it Yeah, now it doesn't completely clash with the wall. Um, this will go... For right now, we're just going to stick it behind the door. Uh, let's get back over here. We can see the whole room. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next big ticket item. Pet bed, no. Desk. Okay, color black. Drawer is black. The base should be elm. So all the wood matches in here. Um, what was our accent color? Hold on. Uh, tab. What was the accent color we picked on the bed? Okay, it's that. The the green. Okay. So let's go here. Uh, here. Base the drawer. We'll go dark gray. Uh, put the desk in the corner. Uh, 
whoops, we're looking at the back of the desk here. There we go. All right. Uh, what else needs to go in the room? Swivel chair. Do we have um, a photo of sleeping cats? Small. That's small. That's cute. A stuffed penguin. Okay, uh, you. Go here. Uh, we're gonna stand on top of the desk so that we can put the other stuffed animal. This bed. Here we go. All right. Pile of books. Well, that'll go on the desk. A bedside cabinet. It's a bunk bed. Why does it want me to have two of those? <laughs> Put that up here on the. Yep, get it up out of the way. Again, why does it want me to have two of those? Stand, but okay. Um, here, let's some some books semi randomly thrown under the end table there um, another stuffed animal yeah definitely sitting down um,
too long to put above the bed. Um, too long to go above the door. Let's back up. Hang it under the. Yeah, hang it underneath there, I guess. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, did it remember? I think it remembered all my choices. So, put one under each window, I guess. it'll yeah it won't let me put it like up in the corner so yeah I that'll work just put it under the windows um, Bella Rose <laughs> um, black cat that's a gigantic black cat okay we're going to flip that around and we will put the cat on the floor It's a pet bed to match the kids' bed. How completely ridiculous is that? I'm, I'm sorry, how big of a pet do they have? That's gigantic. That's literally, that's like, that's like a child's bed. Like, uh, like a starter bed once the uh, child grows up out of a, uh, a crib. You put a bed like that that's close to the floor. That's gigantic. What the heck? Um, we still got stuff to fit in this room. Um... I don't know that I can move this over far enough to put that back over there. I mean, I guess if the door can only go bang up against there, then we could move this back into the corner.
still got two more things to put in here. Blue, coffee, gray, beige, light gray, brown, white. Yeah, something neutral, uh, like a dark, uh, the dark gray is fine. I'm gonna shove this up against the pet bed. Because we still have to fit another, for some inexplicable reason, we have to fit another nightstand in here for a bunk bed. Is this for the pet? Does the pet need its own nightstand? All right, you know what we're gonna do? The pet's gonna get its own nightlight. Pet gets its own nightlight. That's it. We got everything in the room. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Inside the room. Okay, there we go. fit over here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. That room's done. tackle the smaller rooms one at a time here. Okay, remove trash. Dispose, dispose. Um, all right, sell objects. it want me to sell the sink the mirror and the ceiling lamp needs a definite scrubbing. Okay. Uh, lay floor tiles, ceramic tile white. Done. Paint 
with the colors royal blue and white. That's really pretty. Um, mount devices. An old fashioned sink. Okay, so if we've got blue and white going in on the walls. And all of the furniture going in is old fashioned. So I'm thinking blue is the accent wall, white is the main. Although with the white tile floor and the white ceiling, three white walls is going to be a lot. Maybe we do two blue, three blue, and we'll do one white accent wall. Let's look at what we've got to deal with here. So if we did blue, blue, and blue, and left this wall white. Let's, let's take a look and see what that looks like. Times I've accidentally dropped something instead of putting it down. There we go. Okay, uh, so that's done. Um, Japanese elm. Okay, so how many how many things here fit into this? Um, so let's look at what we have. The mirror. Okay, the cupboard. Teak, sapel, beach. 
cherry. I'm just making sure it comes in the same the same wood pattern because you never want to start and be like, oh, you can't have matching anything. Uh, old fashioned. I do like sable. I think sable might work nice. So let's try that. Uh, the handles. The sink. happened um. is there a way to what is it? Is it shift? No. Is it control? No. Is it alt? No. There we go. Okay. Assemble. is so dumb that it won't let you put those on in the proper order. <laughs> say staple good grief that lights bl blinding Small old fashioned cupboard. Is it supposed to go over here?
too big to fit back there. Uh, let's hide it between the... Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now we've also got a hanging shelf. Put it on this wall, like right in the middle. Just a stark thing. All right. Gigantic sconce lights. Why? Why would you have these? Uh, apparently, the lights of the the blinding light from the the mirror isn't enough. Where are you supposed to put these huge sconce lights? I guess we'll put them on the accent wall. I guess I don't know why you, those those bulbs are gigantic. They don't even seem like they're the right um, proportion for the rest of the room. Uh, shampoo, balsam, toilet. Okay, toilet paper holder. They have little kiddos. They got a footstool in the bathroom.
awfully dark in here. There we go. Okay, that's actually a small photo. Um, almost feels like it needs to be a little bigger. some toiletries uh, we have some shampoo can't I put that uh, shampoo okay that'll go on the sink sort of lotion. Okay, that one's done. 